guys, can you? All right, grab your uh, Dyna bands. Take your heels. I'm going to move this back, but let's get started first. So take your heels. Hi, Jean. Hi, Betty. I'm going to pull this like this, but first I just want to get us started, okay? Sorry, I needed to get this a little bit further back. I'm traveling to Montana. So pull your heels under and do bicep curls. And we're gonna do 20. So wherever you, hi, hey guys. And four, <laughs> and five, six. Your shoulders are down the back. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, wrist, 18, 19, 19, and 20. Now take a moment to release your shoulders. Put the band behind your upper back. I like to catch a little extra. And you're going to, now we're going to do a couple things here, but take a circle as if you're doing a breaststroke. Now lift up both heels with calf raises. Mm -hmm. Your palms face up. Your knees are long but soft. Your heels go up and down. And you're breathing out. This is 13. We're going to do 20 this direction. 14. Out to in. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. And then 20. Now we're going to take this tricep press. So one arm's up. One arm is at the low back. Now push up and exhale now open up the feet a little bit we're gonna do five first four now if you can add on you can have a seat and then press up with your arms and your hips so exhale two we're doing 15 this way we did five just the arms four now adjust anytime you need to five six yeah, open up a little bit, Karen. I want your knees to feel safe that they go with your uh, second toe. Take five more. Now the top arm, the arm should be burning. And four more. Breathe in and out. Now your uh, heart rate goes up a little bit because these are big muscle groups, the quads too, the glutes. One more. Now switch your hand. One hand low, one hand high. Now, before you add on any squats, take the top arm up five times. That's so you get a good foundation, neck is easy, of the upper body. Now, if you would like to add on, check that your toe, knees are lined up with your second toe. You can bend your knees and you, like a squat and then push up. Inhale and exhale. Make any adjustments and three. And four, and five, and six, and seven. Good. Lengthen your top arm. Good. Eight, nine. And straighten the arm at the top. And breathe because the heart rate's probably getting up a little bit. Lengthen the arm at the top. When the arm gets tired, it's hard to do that. So if you have to give yourself a little slack that's the trick and take a break <sighs> good take your band behind your upper back take your palms uh, up this is going to be narrow and then it's going to be wide it's going to be narrow and wide now see if you can add on your heels up so calves again, each toe has uh, its own weight. You're not just going into the pinky toe. The knees are soft. And out. Let's 
and forward and forward good and long now the shoulders are down and if you're not sure you just kind of relax your neck make sure it's down the back three three good two two one and one all right now take your wider stance your band so kind of like a horse squat or second position your band is up now you're going to lower both your hips and your band so the first few i'm going to do a little bit slower to say okay my knees are in line with the second toe the band is coming right down in front of my nose to my chest wrist are long now if you're doing okay with that we'll turn it up a little bit the form is more important than the speed your neck is open long your shoulders are down the back take 10 more we're going to add a little pulse at the end nine eight seven check your wrist too make sure they feel for fairly neutral five four three two and we're going to stay low on this last one so hold low now a pulse with both the legs and the arms neck is easy you're still breathing five, four three two now come back up nice job take a band side only one handle or one hand now the heel is on and open up like a t two now you're going out to the side but you still see the hand it's not drifting behind you and for our purposes we're not letting the arm go higher than our shoulder we're going to really focus on high benefit low risk so the neck is long your wrist is long you have a little tone right here. Yeah, to keep you from <laughs> bending over, right? So the ribs are over the pelvis. Other side. Now switch that heel out. Out. Good. Neck long. Two. Little toe, knee soft. That's another cue. You just want to check every now and then. Long arm, but there is a softness in the elbow. Good. Your tone, your breathing. 16. Shoulder, 17. Wrist neutral, 18. 19. Take it to the front. Now, other foot, grab a sip if you need it, and then take it to <clears throat> the heel, other heel, and go front. Now, this is kind of like a mummy arm. You're still going to shoulder height, not higher. It's easy to kind of turn, but you want to stay square. Long arm, 13, 14, 15. You'll see me just do that every now and then just to make sure, or even this, just to make sure the joints are not uh, contracted that don't need to be. We're gonna do 20 on the other side. So let your other heel, so I change which heel has it. The same side heel. So example, if I have my left hand, it's left heel. Your right hand, right heel, two, <clears throat> straight ahead. Look at your wrist and just make sure, is it neutral? It doesn't want to, you don't want to kick it in extension. Seven, eight, nine, knees are soft. Ten, eleven, shoulders. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. They should feel strong. Eighteen. Nice. Now uh, take that out for just a moment. Interlace. We're going to just shake it off for a minute. We're going to go to a weight. If you don't have a weight, I'll give you a backup plan. We're going to do some flies. So let me just see what everybody has and then I'll give a backup plan. Okay, great. 
out. Let me just see. Looking good, um, Betty. Good, Jean. Good, Michelle. Good. Like a T. Knee soft. That a girl. It becomes uh, circuit training when you have to run to get your weight. So you get a little extra cardio in there. <laughs> <laughs> run if you have to run to the closet or to the other room to get them it just becomes circuit training everything's still for our benefit so no problem all right we're adding just a few more here so five i should say a handful more okay now open up a little bit here um and i should have said this earlier uh but you're going to come down like a suitcase, I didn't say to like, uh, I didn't say to hold on to them. Um, Shereen, I should have said to hold on to them. Yeah, three, four. Now watch your neck. So if you're tempted to kind of look at the screen the whole way, but it makes your neck congested, then you're gonna want to just barely chin tilt. Good, your weight's back. Oh, hey, Betty, gotcha again, gotcha. Uh -huh. With your hand weights, and it's called suitcase. <laughs> Pick up a suitcase. Now we can put them down on this one and take an interlaced finger position and lift up, breathe in. Take your same weights behind your head or a lighter weight if you need to and go up and up, yeah. Um, Betty, that's perfect. When you do it and you feel like, oh, I need heavier, I need lighter, just change it out. The other thing you can do is change it halfway. Nice. Now check your neck. It should be easy to move. There's no stress in the low back either. There's a little ab um, tone when you pull your ribs down. Knee soft. Breathe in. You can always change your weight if you need to during the exercise so that you can at least continue with a lesser weight. It's called a drop set. So we're gonna do five more, four, three, two, one. Let that down for a minute. Um, this is called half moon and your foot crosses. If you would like, that's a little extra down the whole side. You take one hand to your thigh and the other arm over. I like to add these nuances of rhythm, rotation. Act like I'm pulling your arm, breathe in. Mm. And exhale, go to the other side. Now one foot can cross, one hand can be on the thigh, the other arm up. Add your rotation, breathe in. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. Now we're gonna take those weights and push up. If you prefer to sit down so that you have a little bit more stability, you can do this seated with your feet flat on the floor. You can do it on a chair or bench. You're lifting up. Exhale, good Betty, I'll cue it that we get a sip after this one. Good job. And up, ribs down, and up, and exhale. You got it. And then you can check your neck every now and then. Release, check your knees are soft. Six, five, four, three, two. Let the hand weights down. Grab your sip that I forgot to cue last time. Thanks, Betty. Cheers, everybody. And then uh, grab your smaller hand weights again. Neck soft to the front, to the front, to the front. Like before, like we did with the band, we're not lifting over our shoulders for our purposes, just really high benefit, low risk. There's a little pause if you would like to add a little extra. At that point, you can do a little pause. So you're, you know, you're not swishing your body to get there. It's controlled. 
your wrists are neutral. And then lower down, let that go. Take cow face pose, which is like you're patting yourself on the back with one arm. Now hold this and if you want a challenge, have a seat, do a one-legged squat. So I'm kind of sneaking some leg strengthener in with a stretch, whoa, <laughs> 10, seven, two, stand up, switch your hands. That's the main stretch. So if you have to give up one move, keep this one. The next one could be sit or lift up a foot. Good, oh, <laughs> get balanced. All right, hold. We hadn't done a one-legged squat in a while. So important. One leg will generally take over. Good, Jean, way to use the wall. Just touch and get back. Breathe in. And then exhale and then bring it back. Just let your arms sway. Grow after this. It's like a little um, knocking on the door of life, Qigong move. It's a way to release tension. And then uh, grab a step and we'll come back. to our heavier band. <clears throat> so you have this, uh, both heels are in the middle and they might even be separated a little. We're gonna try to, I'll, I'll cue, try to uh, let your elbows be higher than your wrist. So you're never kind of like flipping your hands up and your wrists are in line with your forearms. In other words, you're not fit, you're not forcing the knuckles all evenly down. They're kind of going side, uh, diagonally. Elbows, neck is easy, are uh, soft. You should still feel your shoulder joint, uh, shoulder muscles. Palms are facing you. See if you feel the biceps too. Five, knee soft, four. Okay, now I want to just have you shake it out. This is kind of an informal shake. Just let it go, spaghetti arms, heels together. Now you may have to take one heel out, but you're gonna hold this like a um, hammer. Okay, so I'm gonna turn so you can see. Hammer, hammer. Yep, so hammer curl with your band. Now, you may have to figure out a different way to wrap the band, like if it's a Donovan or a tubing, but this is a neutral grip. Thumb up, and just adding a little brachioradialis. Whew. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, let that go. Now I'm gonna have us go to the floor seated. So I'm gonna move my camera in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One or two bands around your feet because or a heavy heavy band right a heavy band or two bands so um i forgot my purple one so i'm going to show you how to do two but you cross it now you sit up this is one of my favorites uh we need the back muscles so much Jean, that looks really good you're betty you're tall the ear is in line with the shoulder and the hip that looks really good nice shrine good <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, you're doing as good as can be expected. <laughs> and good, Karen. I want you to also experiment. If your grip needs to be different, you can. So there's neutral or there's palm up. 
can switch it up. Good girl. Now go into, anytime you need to regrip, into rotation. And now you turn, rotation, you turn. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. And you're trying to think symmetry for can I rotate the same each way or is one a little tighter? Like one side of mine's a little tighter, so I have to pay more attention. Now let that go for a minute. And you know, I like to sneak in some hand stretches. Just pull your fingers down. Oh, that feels so good. Now you're here anyway, you may as well pull the toes back and kind of try to spread them and pull the toe, sorry, pull the other hand back. So your fingers pull back, spread those toes. See if you can create space between each. All right. Now wrap a band around your feet again. And I'm gonna have us cross it like an X. These are less glamorous, but they're really helpful for keeping the shoulder healthy and it's external rotation and it's almost in every single shoulder rehab program. So we are going to keep this up. Now look at your wrist if you're not sure, but it should be neutral on each side straight. Good. I like it. The way you make it harder is just grab more of the band. And these aren't really like a big row muscle. These are more therapeutic. So we're gonna do three more here for 20. Now, all we're gonna do on this one is a informal circle. Move your shoulder. You can even move your neck with this. We're gonna open up our arms. You still can have it crossed. If your band is especially tight, you may not need to cross it, but just see what happens. It's like you are making a hug a tree backwards. Re rear deltoid, nice. Uh, everybody's posture looks so good. We are getting a little work around those axial extension muscles that keep us tall. <sighs> okay, undo the, so let's say the, it was crossed, undo that, it's parallel. Take the arms beside your <clears throat> thighs. It doesn't even matter that it doesn't go back that far. It's just past your hips or wherever your band will let it go. The lats, uh, serratus, triceps are even working here as they keep your elbow long. Rear shoulder. And I like on the exhale, pull the belly in. So you have a little ab tone one way you know how you have that tone around your spinal muscles and your ab is that your body isn't going forward and back you've got this bracing mechanism in your core unit that keeps your body steady no matter where your arms are in space with this uh, exercise i hope you feel it too <laughs> i definitely feel it now um this is one of my favorite postures the rack Go up and behind, fingers away. Go, and this, this part is part of the stretch because you're getting some range of motion and mobile. And soft elbows, lift your heart. Breathe in, breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale. And this is a massage uh, for your carpals. It's like a way to get synovial fluid. Circle your hands as if you're, um, lubricating or putting lotion on the carpals. You circle the wrist. Now we're gonna take an X. Uh, I like this one for the rear shoulder. It does get different fibers. So one arm's low, one arm's high. One arm's low, one arm's high. So it, it's kind of like a flattish X or a wide X. The arm that's high doesn't have to be higher than your shoulder. It's just higher than the other one. So one's kind of close to the floor, one's a little higher. So this elongated X, good. Whew. 
All right, we're killing it. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Prayer pose behind you, and it looks like your fingers touch. And then you go up. All right, and you can sit any way you want to. If it helps you to sit kneeling, go for it. Five, yep, hands, four. And feel your shoulders open. Mm -hmm. Now I want to sneak in just a little bit of core abs with your foam roller. If you don't have it, then just do a um, plank. But if you have your foam roller, do a plank with your shins on the roller and roll your knees in and out. And two. Let me turn a little bit so I can see you guys. Mm -hmm. And you can pull your knees under. I like to toe in a little bit. Yeah. All right, keep going. All right, five more, four more, three more, two, one. Rest for a moment. Now use that foam roller if you have it. If you don't have it, just use the floor. But do a swan on the foam roller and hold. Now you see how you're working triceps, upper back. Now if you don't have the foam roller, just use the floor, it's okay. Good, breathe in. Oh, that looks good. Train really good, get ready, good, inhale. Breathe in. We're holding the, we did more planks uh, rolls and we did more than usual on the swan, building endurance, and then let go. Take a moment to take one more hand stretch. This is the other side that we didn't do earlier. And then this one and pull those fingers under. Uh, take one big breath up, inhale. Catch all the wellness that is available to you. Take your hands to your heart. Today I intend to notice all the wellness that is available to me. How beautiful the day is, how I have water, plenty of food, plenty of shelter. I have good clothes. I'm going to see beautiful nature today. So today I'm going to be the master of my thoughts and look for good feeling thoughts. Today is a beautiful day to receive all of the wellness that is available to me. With so much appreciation. Thank you guys so much. Thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.